style innovation. Hello and welcome to the HIMSS video on pairing your Braille Sense with an iOS device. In this instance, an iPad. I'm Dave Wilkinson and let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do so that we're all in the same place is I'm going to press function key 1 on the Braille Sense, which will take me to sort of the Braille Sense start menu and say that I'm in, at the file manager. File manager F. And the first part of this pairing is going to be done from the Braille Sense side. The Braille Sense will automatically turn Bluetooth on if you don't have Bluetooth on when you go into the terminal for screen readers, so you don't have to do anything as far as those settings go. We want to go to the utilities menu because the utilities menu is where the terminal for screen reader is located. I could use the shortcut U, but instead I'm going to use the scroll buttons on the side of the Braille display to go through the menus to get to the utilities menu. Word processor W, email E, media M, organizer O, web tools, social networking, extras, games, programs, utilities U. And I'll go ahead and hit enter on utilities. Calculator C. It takes me to the calculator, which is the first item in the utilities menu. I know that I want to go to terminal for screen reader, and in this case, I know that the shortcut key is S, and I'm going to use it. Serial port B. There are other options here. We are going to be using the Bluetooth serial for the purposes of this video. So I press enter. Connecting. Terminal mode. And now I'm done with the Braille Sense, and the rest of the pairing is going to be done from the iPad. And this is a process that doesn't allow for a whole lot of margin of error. You do not want to go into the Bluetooth settings on your iPad. You are going to go into Settings, General, Accessibility, VoiceOver, Braille. And then we're now going to do those steps in that order. So. Again, we're going to go to settings. Two, adjust settings. Double tap to open. We'll double tap on settings. We're going to go to general, accessibility. Accessibility button. Settings heading. Under accessibility, we're going to go to voiceover. Voiceover on button. We're going to go to braille. Speak hands. Use pitch change. Use sound effect. Speech button. Braille rotor. Braille braille sensor two thousand one hundred ninety eight. Under Braille, we are going to choose the Braille sense Selected. that we want to connect to. Selected. Braille sensor 2198. Not connected. Button. Now it's going to ask for a PIN code. Okay. Secure. Our Just PIN code is 000. Zero. 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 PIN. Secure. One. Two. One. PIN. Secure. PIN. Secure. Pair. Button. And we'll go to pair. And we have Braille. If you were asked for a pen from the Braille Sense side, you would enter 0000 in Nimeth Braille and follow it with enter or dropped numbers. Uh, and we have control of our iPad. One thing that is worth noting that if when you want to exit terminal for screen reader on the note taker side, the normal Z in the space bar is not sufficient. You want to use Z, the space bar, and backspace. Terminal for screen reader, S. And now I'm back on the note taker side and I'm disconnected from my iPad. And that's all there is to it. Hymns. Lifestyle innovation.